Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to replace the front wheel bushings on your lawn tractor. One sign that's going to let you know that you need to replace the bushings is that the wheel may be tilting toward one side. And you're also going to notice a lot of play like this. This one here is quite excessive as you can see here. This tractor has a lot of hours on it. It's got over 500 hours. It may not have been maintained properly and that's why the bushings are totally worn out. To replace the bushings is quite easy. All you need is a floor jack. Just jack it up somewhere safe. Make sure the wheel is totally off the ground. And it's good to have a safety jack under the tractor as well in case it falls. Once it's jacked up, you need to remove this rubber cover. And now what you need to do with a flat screwdriver is remove the E-clip here. And I just found it on the ground and remove the washer. There might be two washers in some cases. Now just remove the wheel. And there's two bushings in total, one on each side of the rim. And here's a new bushing compared to the old one. You can see the hole in the old one's a lot bigger. And that's what's causing all the play on the shaft. Now to remove the bushing, all I'm going to use is a hammer and a steel rod. I'm going to insert the rod like this and grab the edge of the bushing on the inside of the rim. So basically what I'm doing inside the rim here is grabbing the inner part of the bushing like this and hammering it out. And when you do this, make sure you wear safety glasses. And the first one's out. And now both bushings are off. And you can see the old bushings are kind of egg-shaped on the inside. So they're totally worn out. So that's why that wheel had excessive play. Now the tractor I'm doing this on today is an older Husqvarna GTH 2648. And the part number for the bushings I'm using today is 532-009040. Now this bushing here will fit in a lot of AYP and Craftsman lawn tractors. And to reinstall the bushings is quite easy, just simply start it like this. And I'm going to use the old bushings on top to hammer them in. Now on this side here you can see the grease fitting, so what you need to do is put the flat side of the bushing toward the grease fitting. If you don't do that you will not be able to put the bushing in. And now make sure that both bushings are flush on the rims on each side. And now just simply reinstall the wheel. You'll need to reinstall both washers and the E-clip goes in the groove here. And now simply reinstall the rubber cap. It's important to have the rubber caps here because it does stop the water from going into the bushings and where the shaft is. And now just repeat the same process on the other side. When it comes to the back wheels, you will not find any bushings like you did on the front one, so don't worry about the back wheels. And now what I recommend you do is grab your grease gun and put a lot of grease into the grease fitting of that wheel. And here's the grease fitting. I'm going to put about 10 squirts of grease in there. And then do the same on this side. And you'll often find another grease fitting over here that is good to be greased as well. And I usually put about five squirts in this one. And now with the new bushings, the wheel is a lot tighter. However, you still will get a little bit of play like this. This is totally normal on tractors. Unless you get tractors that have bearings in the wheels, you will have a little play like this. So don't worry about that. And now I can see that the wheels stand up much straighter than they were before. And the old tires that were on this tractor were worn out quite unevenly. So with the new bushings, these new tires here should wear out evenly. But the best thing you can do to maintain your bushings and your tractor is just grease it like I did with the grease gun periodically, maybe once or twice per summer. And that's gonna make them last a lot longer. So thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.